Hi everyone and welcome back to our next video. In this series, we're going to take a look at how you can import a photo, such as a JPEG image, into P5. You might want to do this if you're building, say, a trivia game and you have a trivia question based on an image. So let's take a look at how you can import a JPEG file into P5. First thing, you're going to have to find your image on Google. So once you find your image, you're going to open it up with a photo editor. And in this case here, I'm using Microsoft Paint. And typically, if I bring in an image in, um, it tends to be an image bigger than one megabytes. In this case here down at the bottom, you can see this image is 2.2 megabytes in size and its pixel dimensions are 5403 by 3602. So it's a very large image. And if I'm gonna bring it into P5, it must be a lot smaller. So first thing I'm gonna do, once I open the file with paint, I'm gonna to go to resize and then I'm gonna click on pixels and you can see how big it is in terms of pixels here. Since my canvas is typically say 400 by 400, I want this image to fit inside there. So uh, maybe I want to have an image size that's maybe 150 by 150. So I'm going to type in 150 here. And you can see that this number down here changed as well. And that's because I've got this checked here. It says maintain aspect ratio. And that's so it doesn't stretch the picture vertically or horizontally. And in other words, really change what it looks like. So make sure you got this checked here and we're going to make this 150 pixels wide by a um, 100 pixels in height. And I'm going to click OK. And there you can see the image there. It's very small now, but if I zoom in here, there I've got my cat image and now it is sized. So it should fit on the canvas. So I'm going to save it and then I'm going to go into P5. First thing I need to do in P5 in order to import an image is I'm going to create a variable using a let statement. It's let space photo and it doesn't have to be photo. It could be a different name if you want. It could be image or whatever. I'm going to use the variable name called photo. Then inside function setup, I'm going to create the canvas size and the background color. I'll use green and then I'm going to set this up here I'm gonna use the load image command and what it does in function setup is it goes and gets the image that I want to place on the canvas well right now if I take a look over here I don't have that image in my sketch files so when you open up p5 we actually have to go over here and click on this arrow and then we can see the sketch files um, that we can use here and in this case, we need to import or upload a file. We need to upload that cat image. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go upload. And then I'm going to go grab that image. And I'm going to drop it inside there. And there, it's uploaded. I'm going to close this here. So there, now you can see I do have the sketch file cat.jpg that is here. So now um, I can use that file and I can import that in and I can put it on my canvas. So I use the load image command to do that. Notice here that the name of the file is in single quotes and I've got it set equal to my variable that I defined up here. That is inside function setup. Then in order to draw the image inside function draw, I'm going to use the image command. And then in brackets, what I have is the name of the uh, variable that holds that photo. And then I've got the place on the screen where I want it placed. I'm going to place it at 100 comma 100 on the screen. So there, that's it. If I've done everything right here and I click on play, then there we go. We've got the image loaded on our page. And maybe if it's a trivia question, maybe I want to put the image down a little bit lower and a little more centered. So let me put it at, uh, say, 150 comma 200. Let's see if that fits on my screen. 
Um, there we go. It's still a little bit off center, but I can play with those settings there and I can move the image around. So that's it. That's all you have to do to load an image onto your canvas. You're going to have to make sure it's inside sketch files here and you're going to use the load image command in function setup and then you're going to use the image command in function draw. That's it for this video. Um, good luck with this and let me know if you have any questions. Take care.